Hi everyone and welcome to the Scrap and Create YouTube channel. It's Christine here and I am here with a new mini album share with you guys. Um, this is a new album that I have made using the A Proper Gentleman collection from Graphic 45. This is a special Delectors collection edition. So it's an older collection that was brought back um, with, you get two each of the 12 by 12 sheets of paper, two of each design. You also get a chipboard element sheet and a 12 by 12 12 sticker sheet in the DCE collection. So this is the album that I have created. The outside of the album, the covers measure six and a half by eight and a half and the pages are six by eight. So let me bring this up to the camera. This is the cover and I have created here a beautiful um, clock here in the upper left hand corner and I will show you the die that I use for that in just a moment. But can you guys see how cool that clock cut out, cut out a die cut is? It is so cool and I just put a small brad there in the middle as you can see uh, with the little hands of the clock. The rest of the cover contains a couple chipboard elements from the collection. Uh, this is just a cut apart from the, the paper. Um, and I have some gears here that are just fun from my stash. A key element, a keyhole element here from Graphic 45, also available at Scrap and Create. And then these filigrees, which were thrown in as a freebie from Scrap and Create upon buying this collection. On my spine here, I have this really pretty key that I've just attached using a Tim Holtz fastener and chain. And this is from Graphic 45. This key is. It's really cool. It's got a clock on it um, as well as the key, which I thought went well with the little keyhole and on the front cover. And then the back cover is just very, very simple. It's just some of this fun dapper paper. And then I put a little sticker from the sticker sheet uh, glued in onto some cardstock and then glued in onto the back. And I thought you could, you know, maybe put a date or something like that of the event that's being um, detailed in the album. All right, so let me show you quickly how I created this uh, gorgeous clock image here. That was done using the Graphic 45 square tag die uh, set. Now, I didn't use any of the square tags in this particular album, but I did use the clock die, which has three separate pieces to it. You could use them all, as I did here, or... Um, <clears throat> you know, any combination. And then I also use the little clock ants here as well from this die set. And you can get this at scrapandcreate.com. All right, let's go ahead and open the album up and we'll do a quick walkthrough. I also want to mention there is a full three-part tutorial on how to create this album. Part one shows you how to create the actual book, the binding, and the base pocket pages. Part two shows you how I customized the pages. And part three shows you how I decorated the album. And those will be linked below. Now, I've been having some major problems getting my videos uploaded to YouTube. This project has actually been done about two weeks, and it's just been taking uh, days, literally, to get things uploaded to YouTube for some odd reason. We're looking into it. But if the... Um, if when you see this walkthrough pop up on YouTube, if the rest of the tutorial videos aren't up there yet, don't worry, they're coming. We're just having some issues with YouTube. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. This is a very simple album, so the tutorial would be great for anyone who is new to mini album making, uh, but hopefully also has some ideas for those of you who are uh, pros at making mini albums. Let me first show you, I did the pocket pages a little bit differently this time, so I'm gonna actually stand the book up like so and show you the pocket pages instead of having the big large tags and the pocket opening coming out from the side I decided to have them coming out from the top so I just kind of wanted to show you that and then I'll pull them out as we go through <clears throat> all right so here's the inside front cover and I just went ahead and did this quite simply uh, just a pocket there as you can see as well as a um, a little flap here with one of the cut aparts from the collection. Now, um, I put it ahead and put in just some random photo mats in a few of the pockets throughout the album. And those photo mats are cut at four by six, four and a quarter by six and a quarter, so that 
um, you could uh, place a 4x6 photo on these photo mats without having to trim them. And that's really just for demonstrative purposes. I had plenty of scraps left, so you can definitely, you know, pretty up your photo mats if you wish. Um, but just to go ahead and get this video posted, I just put some plain photo mats into some of the pockets just to kind of show you. Here I have a chipboard piece from the collection. I added a little uh, copper brad there. And then here I did a cut apart from the collection. There's uh, two pages in the collection that have some really pretty borders and things. So I just added glue to three sides and made a little mini pocket out of on top of the actual pocket itself. And so I just stuck some little tags um, into the, um, the pocket here, as you can see. And you could, of course, do some journaling on the backs of these or whatever you'd like to do. Now the pages are all repetitive, so again, that's what makes this such an easy album to put together. So here is the first large tag. The, again, they're pull, coming out of the top this time. And this measures, um, I believe it's five and a quarter by seven and three quarters. It is. Um, so you can place a nice large five by seven photo on here if you wish. I uh, have this beautiful clock charm that I have added to the top of this tag and some ribbon here. Um, the clock charm came from Scrap and Create as a freebie for the purchase of this collection. So I'm just going to kind of set the tags to the side as we go along. I added some gears to this cover page. If you've watched any of my tutorials before, you know I really love the best of both worlds with my albums. I like to have places where I don't intend to cover things up with, uh, with photographs, so I can just enjoy that beautiful paper. So my idea for my decoration of this album would be to leave this alone. And then if you open it up, you have this nice spread here for um, photos. So this is the back of the right flap. I just added some fun little flips using some of the vintage car cut aparts. This is a little pocket here that you could certainly stick lots of photos if you wish. I just stuck a little um, sticker. I backed it with black cardstock. I thought you could use this, maybe use a white gel pen, do some journaling on the back of this. But this is a very large space back here. So you could, of course, fit. I've just cut out various um, photo sizes just to just to give you an idea. You could fit, you know, a four by six photo here. You could do a combination of four by four and maybe a three by four, you know, kind of overlap them like that. So you really do have um, a lot of space here to work out. Plus, you can stick photos down in the pocket as well. <clears throat> Pardon me. So then we have this left flap over here on the left. And I just chose this really beautiful clock uh, paper here. I just thought that that was stunning. And then this opens up and of course we have the inside of the left flap as well. Um, you can fit four by sixes on, the, on this flap in the vertical or the portrait rather um, setting. This is also open here at the bottom so you could slide uh, photos behind this chipboard element if you wish. So those can go right there like so. So that way you can um, glue, you have the ability to glue um, something down if you wish to the page or you can just slide them behind this chipboard element here, whatever you prefer. The, the center page or the base page itself just has this fun little flip here uh, with this antique car cut apart. And of course you could add little photos or just journaling on the backs of these. And then here's the pocket page. And again, like I said, I just stuck for demonstrative purposes some very plain little um, photo mats that will fit four by sixes without needing to crop them. These are very generous pockets, so you could fit several uh, you know, photo, four by six photo mats in these pockets without adding to the bulk of the album because there is uh, a lot of space built in. Okay, so that is page one. Moving on to the back of page one, which is page two, we have a left flap. And in these, um, again, all these pages are repetitive. So for the backs of each of the pages, um, I used a graphic 45 black regular size tag. So I used four tags total throughout this album. You can get these tags at scrapandcreate.com, and I also used the regular tag die. Um, so what you see here is the black part is the actual tag, and then the die 
cut your design paper or your cardstock as you can see on the back I just have some cream cardstock there that tie dye uh, cuts it so that it fits right inside of the tag and you have a nice black border now three by four photos fit perfectly on these tags so you could add a beautiful photo there add another photo on the back or maybe just do some journaling on the back whatever you prefer also you can fit photo mats in addition to the um, the tag in here if you wish and I believe you can even fit yes you can a four by six so this is a four by six size so you can fit quite a bit in these pockets all right so you open the left um, flap here and now we have the inside of the left flap I just have a fun little flip here using one of the cut aparts from the collection I backed a sticker here onto some black cardstock and that is open so you could slide a little uh, three by four photo I, you need to cut it down just a little bit but you can slide it right underneath that sticker there and then of course you have this large flap which like I stated you can fit four by six and below photos um, or you can do a spread, you know, you could do a three by four like this. You could do a, um, you know, a three by three. So really the sky's the limit. You have lots of different options for how you display your photos. And then the rest of page two is just simply a pocket page. I added a little flap here with one of the cut aparts. And then here's your pocket page. And that's what it looks like matted. I used some uh, chipboard, a chipboard element here with just some burlap twine. Uh, just for some fun de decor there. All right, moving on to page number uh, three. Here is the the fun tag that pulls out. This is a fun little top hat charm that I added to the top of this tag. And remember, you can fit five by seven and below photographs on these large tags here. So this is fun. I, again, my idea was to kind of leave this page alone. Um, just because I loved the little blueprint paper of the New York Stock Exchange, I just thought it was really, really cool. So my idea for my book would be to leave this alone, and then you just simply open it up, and you have lots of room here, just like at the, on the back of page one. The only thing that differs from the pages are the cut-aparts, and that's simply because the cut-aparts in this collection are not a uniform size. They're not 3 by 4s or 4 by 6s They're all different kind of irregular sizes which was actually kind of fun to work with it made it a little different and fun to work with so I just incorporated them throughout my book um, if you've seen any of my other tutorials you know I really like to incorporate the flips and flaps just for some interaction with the album so here's a little flip here you could add a photo underneath there or do some journaling and then you have this whole spread here just like we did on the back of, uh, of the flap of page number one again here's the left flap Alrighty, so here's that left flap, and this chipboard element at the top is open, so you can slide photos underneath if you wish. Okay, and then this opens like so, and we have this fun little flip here, uh, just, for, just for interaction and fun, and you can obviously put a little photo or some journaling there. You have this large space for a 4x6 or below spread. You could do, like I said before, you could do, you know, a 3x5 and then maybe lay that down like that and then do a three by three and overlap them slightly. And that would look really pretty as you can see there. So you have lots of options of, as to which size of photographs you choose. And then you have a large pocket here. And I cut this one really fun so that the pattern continues. I loved this newsprint paper um, from the collection. There's two different sheets. One's got a reddish tinge to it and this one has the blue. And they're really, really awesome paper. So I wanted to be able to enjoy that, which is why I made this a pocket page. So you can store your photos but then once you remove the photos, you can enjoy the beautiful paper. So um, again, you can fit tons of photo mats in this pocket. I just stuck one in to demonstrate. All right, here is the back, which is page four. So here we have a pocket here on this left flap, and I did another tag here, as you can see, using that die uh, for my design paper on the front, and then just some cream colored design paper on the back. Remember, three by four photos. Um, fit perfectly on these tags. You could even do a border if you wish to put something behind the photograph if you wanted to. Um, and then you can do another photo on the back or journal whatever you prefer. You can also fit, like I said before, numerous photograph or photo, photo mats rather in this pocket as well. 
This beautiful ribbon here that you see is from Scrap and Create. It was thrown into my package as a freebie. Julie and Daphne are the owners of Scrap and Create and are so generous in preparing our packages to send out. There's um, always little goodies added in, which is so awesome and so appreciated. So then we flip this left flap over to the back. Here's just a fun little flip here. I just want another one of those antique cars. And then here, I just stuck a couple tags underneath this chipboard element, which I left open. But of course, you could fit, just like on all the other left flaps, you could fit four by six and below, what, however you wanted to, to lay out your photos, whatever, whatever sizes and whatever uh, design or layout you want. And then here is the base page itself with just a little flip, another one of those fun car uh, put, cut aparts. And then a pocket here with uh, where you could fit several photo mats. Now we are on to page five. And this one, again, my idea would be to just kind of leave this alone. This is just the, so pretty, and it's that and that other antique newspaper print paper I was telling you about. So this is the one with the red tinge, and I just loved it. I did add a little gear here just for some embellishment. Here is the top-loading photo mat for this page. Um, and it's just a cute little pipe charm that I added. And then again, we can fit large five by seven or below photographs there. So this opens to the right. We have this huge area for photos here. We've got a flip here from a cut apart where you can add a photo there already. And then we have this left um, flap, which is sort of a continuation of this paper, which I thought was kind of fun. So it's sort of, if you cut the paper, it would be right to the left of this. And it's right here, so you can add tons of photos here. And then, of course, on the back, you have a nice little flap here for a photograph, and then that large left flap that we've talked about a lot now, where you can fit four by six photos and below. And then our base page, which has a pocket where you can fit numerous photo mats. <clears throat> I also did another, I used another one of those little um, um, border sheets and just cut out this from one of the border sheets and I just added a couple little tags from the sticker sheet with a little bit of twine ribbon so you can make a pocket on top of your pocket which is kind of fun and that's how I like to use those border strips sometimes all right so that is page five on the back is page six here is the tag Okay. Again, same layout on all the pages. The only thing that changes are these little cut aparts. Here's this fun little teeny tiny cut apart that I just loved of a jockey on top of his horse. And then you could do a little tiny photo there or some journaling. So that closes and then the tag slides right in. You can open this up and we have this huge cut apart here um, where you could place a very large photo on the back and I've added some stickers there that say a proper gentleman and again these are both open these stickers are open so you could slide your photo right underneath there and then you have of course this large flap here for photographs and then your base page where we just have this fun little flip out one of the cut aparts and then you can fit numerous photo mats inside of this pocket I did add a little uh, strip from the border strips paper uh, I did not turn this one into a pocket I just kind of left it alone and centered it on the center of the pocket there. Finally, we have our last base page, which contains pages um, seven and eight. Here is the big pullout. I have another beautiful clock charm there. Um, and then I added a fun little gear here as well for some uh, decoration. But again, I would probably leave this page alone. It's just so awesome and pretty. And then you can open this up. You have lots of space here for photographs. You can fit a four by six photo uh, vertically, or you can trim it just slightly and have it go horizontal. So you just take like about an inch off and you have, um, you can fit, you know, four by sixes just slightly trimmed down going uh, landscape. Um, I did add a little chipboard piece here and I just, I left it open so you could slide photos behind it. And I just tucked a couple little tags that I backed on cardstock. These are from the sticker sheet. And I just backed them on cardstock and then just stuck them back here as little journaling tags. But of course you could stick photos there as well. So you could actually glue photos down and then also stick some loosely behind the chipboard element if you wish. Over here is the left flap. Lots of room there for photos. Turn it over. Lots of room here for photos. And then our pocket. Again, you can fit way more than one photo mat there. I'm just showing you 
just to demonstrate, but you can fit a ton. These are very generous pockets. Here's a little button from the shipboard uh, element set that I uh, just added some twine to, to the center of it. So that closes like that. And then on the back here, we have page eight. Here we have a fun little flip up top here where you could put a small photo or some journaling. Here is the tag for this particular um, pocket. Again, this beautiful ribbon from Scrap and Create was a freebie that they threw in. So that's my tag for, for that particular pocket. And then I, I did another one of those things where I just cut out a little uh, a little uh, border rather from the border paper. And I just kind of had a couple extra tags that I wanted to use from the sticker collection that I thought were really nice and just went really well with the theme of this album. So I just kind of stuck those in here. So you kind of have a generous little pocket here on top of your pocket. <laughs> so that slides in there and then you open this up. And on the left here, again, you have plenty of room on this left flap. Little space here on this flip or flap for uh, a small picture or a uh, journaling. On the bottom here, I have a top, two top hats and a clock. These are from the chipboard elements, and I just loved them. So I just stuck them down here. Um, I cut them so they're not thick. I took the chipboard off, in other words. So you could easily layer a photograph over those if you wish, and it's not going to add to the bulk of the book. Finally, here's the last base page. So I just have this little flap here with a photograph where you could put, um, and I have a little sticker there. It says smashing from the sticker collection. Of course, you could fit your photo right under that sticker. And then, of course, we have our pocket page there where you could fit several photo mats. Finally, we have the inside back cover. And so I just did a little flip out of this cut apart from the antique car page in the paper collection and then I just stuck two photo mats in here but again you can fit several. I have here a uh, chipboard element which I thought you could do some journaling on and then here was just another little this corner seemed empty so I just added another little chipboard element to the bottom of this particular corner and that's it guys so this is my six and a half by eight and a half mini album using the proper gentleman collection from Graphic 45. As I stated, this is a little different in that the large pocket tags are going to go in the top now instead of the bottom. I just wanted to change things up a little bit and just show you guys different ways to do things. So now you can see that beautiful tag and the charm kind of lays over top. I really liked that. So as I put these back here, um, I'll just close by saying that you can pick up everything that you need to create this album at scrapandcreate.com. I will have a list below of all of the um, products used to create this album as well as links when I can to uh, the products. And then don't forget to check out once they're uploaded and again be a little patient with the uploading and I apologize for that. but. Our uh, internet does not want to upload YouTube for some, does not want to let my videos upload to YouTube for some reason. Um, and it's driving me a little crazy, but that's okay. Um, we'll get them up there. But those, uh, uh, those tutorial videos will have links to all of the pr uh, products that were used, as well as measurements for uh, all your cut lists, all the measurements that you would need to create this project. And I do want to bring this cover up again and just show you one more time that gorgeous clock. I had never used the clock die before and I am in love with it. So um, I hope that this album inspires you and I hope that you enjoy. It was really fun for me to work with this collection. I usually do really girly projects and it was so fun to step out of my comfort zone and work on something that was very masculine and fun. So I hope Hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy the accompanying tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, stopping by and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.